Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. We finally have an open source AI video generator that is Sora level quality. So this tool is called Pyramidal Flow Matching, etc, etc. Let's just call it Pyramid Flow for short. And you know, interestingly, this is actually also by the company that made Kling. And I can't believe they're open sourcing this. This is just incredible. So here are just some demonstrations of what it can do. So here the prompt is a side profile shot of a woman with fireworks exploding in the distance behind her. And note that it can generate 10 second clips as you can see here at 24 frames per second and the resolution is 1280 times 768. By the way, here's a similar generation from Runway Gen 3. So let me know in the comments what you think. Which one do you think looks better? So here's another example. Here is an extreme close-up of chicken and green pepper kebabs grilling on a barbecue with flames, shallow focus and light smoke, vivid colors. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. This looks super realistic and coming from an open source video generator, this is just mind blowing. Here's another example. Beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street following several people enjoying beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Now, you can see like some hallucinations, deformations, especially with the red signs at the start here. And then also the edges of these pedestrians do kind of warp in shape over time. However, just compared with previous open source video generators and even closed source generators that we have now, this is actually very temporally consistent. The fact that it can generate so many people in one scene and at least their arms and legs are not splitting apart. They're not disappearing and then reappearing somewhere else. This is already really good progress here. The prompt is at dusk, a car is driving on the highway with the rear view mirror reflecting a colorful sunset and serene scenery. Very nice, very nice. Here we have a movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert cinematic style shot on 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. And you can see it follows the prompt very well. This is a 30 year old looking spaceman. He is wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet and it is a blue sky and a desert background. And uh, this is actually copying, I believe the Sora video. And you can see it's not much different. This is actually very good quality. And I'll go over the specs in order to run this in a second. But you know, Sora, they claim that it requires a ton of compute and that's why they're not releasing it yet. But this new open source tool doesn't actually require too much VRAM to run. More on that in just a second. Here is a boat sailing leisurely along the Seine River with the Eiffel Tower in the background, black and white. And again, it pulls this off beautifully. This is a black and white video and everything looks very consistent. Now, you know, the bars of the Eiffel Tower at the top do show some inconsistencies if you're really staring closely, but overall from far away or if you're looking at this on your phone, this is pretty damn good. This one is incredible. Look at the details on the cat's fur, the realism of the pillow, the realism of the cat's movements. This is just incredible. So here the prompt is a cat waking up its sleepy owner demanding breakfast. We don't actually see the owner in the video, so that is a flaw for this prompt. For your reference, here is a similar generation from Sora. So here's a side by side comparison. Here is another kebab video. So here's an extreme close up of chicken and green pepper kebabs grilling on a barbecue with flames, shallow focus, light smoke, vivid colors, and it just nailed this. I mean, it's hard to point out any flaws with this. And then next one, a drone camera circles around a beautiful historic church built on a rocky outcropping along the Amalfi coast. The view showcases historic and magnificent architectural details and tiered pathways and patios. Absolutely beautiful. And look at the level of detail here. You can even see the people walking on the street. Now again, with videos with a lot of detail especially with a lot of people, a lot of small objects, you will see some deformations if you look closely. And this is an inherent flaw, even in some of the best closed source video generators that we have right now, such as Kling 
and Gen 3 and Mini Max. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with a similar generation from Sora. And then here is a drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliffs along Big Sur's Garay Point Beach. The crashing blue waters create white-tipped waves while the golden light of the setting sun illuminates the rocky shore. And this looks absolutely beautiful, and it's hard to point out any flaws with this. I mean, you can see how this can absolutely be used in a travel video. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with a similar generation from Sora. Here's another one. Churning ocean waves at night with a lighthouse on the coast creates an intense and somewhat foreboding atmosphere. The scene is set under an overcast sky with the ocean's dark waters illuminated by natural light. Again, pretty flawless if you ask me, especially the waves. It generates very realistic waves. Here's another one, an aerial shot of a lighthouse standing tall on a rocky cliff, its beacon cutting through the early dawn, waves crash against the rocks below. Again, very, very impressive. I guess the only flaw is the lighthouse doesn't seem too symmetrical, but other than that, again, it's hard to pick out any noticeable flaws with this. Here's another incredible example, a tsunami Coming through an alley in Bulgaria, dynamic movement. This looks so realistic. I guess the only flaw here is the car at the end there. Doesn't really look like a car and you can see it's kind of like warping in shape over time. That's the only flaw. But I mean, the buildings, the waves, everything else looks super realistic. By the way, here's a similar generation from Runway Gen 3. So let me know in the comments what you think. Which one do you think looks better? Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Upix. Their version 2 just came out, and I must say, this is one of the most realistic AI selfie generators I've used. Upix has made it dead easy for you to generate high quality, realistic images of yourself or anyone else in just one click. It works on desktop as well as on your phone. You don't need to install any apps or anything, it just works straight from your internet browser. Simply select a template, and then upload your photo, and then click Create. It's as easy as that. And look how realistic the results are. There's many templates for you to choose from and more to come. So check it out at upix.app. And look at this, a massive explosion on the surface of the earth. I mean, this open source video generator can 100% be used to generate special effects and surreal scenes. Here's another one, a series of underwater explosions creating bubbles and splashing water. And this indeed looks like an underwater explosion. Here, the prompt is a campfire burning with flames and embers gradually increasing in size and intensity before dying down towards the end. Again, just super realistic. Keep in mind, all of this is just text to video. I'll show you image to video in a second, which it can also do. How exciting is that? Anyways, let's go through the rest of these text to video examples first. Here is a beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Absolutely beautiful. And I guess the only flaws are the signs on the buildings aren't really legible, but this is a flaw with all video generators that we have nowadays. And plus at the start there, I don't know what this thing is. That's kind of creepy, but everything else looks very temporally consistent. And again, from afar, or if you're looking at this on your phone, on a small screen, it's really hard to notice flaws. This is super detailed and much better quality than all the other open source video generators we've had before. For your reference, here is a similar generation from Sora. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's another generation of a side profile shot of a woman with fireworks exploding in the distance behind her. This looks so realistic. The fireworks, the woman, the lighting, everything looks pretty much flawless. Here the prompt is a stunning sight as a steam train leaves the bridge. Traveling over the arch covered viaduct, the landscape is dotted with lush greenery and rocky mountains. The sky is blue and the sun is shining. And what a beautiful generation. It accurately portrayed the scene. The only flaw I can really point out is the train isn't really consistent across the entire scene. And there's there appears to be some mini cart in the middle. I mean, this this connection doesn't really look realistic, but other than that, very beautiful and very detailed. 
And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with a similar generation from Sora. Here, two hikers make their way up a mountain, taking in fresh air and beautiful views, and again, just a very beautiful and detailed shot. The, the only flaws I can really spot are the hands and fingers. They're not really consistent, but again, this is a flaw in all video generators we have right now. All right, and get this. It even works with image to video. So if you input a starting image, and then you add in a prompt, monster illustration in flat design style of a diverse family of monsters. The group includes a furry brown monster. Here is what we get. Here, if you input this car photo, and then you add in the prompt, a car driving down the road, that is exactly what you get. Here is a super impressive example. So if you input a start frame of the Great Wall of China, and then for the prompt, if you add in FPV flying over the Great Wall, here is what you get. Very beautiful. Again, you can see how this can absolutely be used in some travel video. This one is also very impressive. So the input image is just this painting, and the prompt is people strolling through the streets of a suburban park on an island in the river on an ordinary Sunday. And again, it handles this pretty well, although you can see like the people are walking across the water now. They're all turning into Jesus for some reason. But you can see how it, it doesn't just handle realistic photos well. It can also handle paintings and 2D images. And here are the benchmarks. Now, the reason why I finally featured this Pyramid Flow open source generator and not previous open source video generators is because the previous ones kind of suck. So we do have like OpenSora. And I guess the best one we have right now before this Pyramid Flow is Cog Video X5B. That's actually pretty good. However, this one, Pyramid Flow, is even better. So across all these benchmark metrics, the total score is 81.72. And note that this already beats like previous generations of closed source video generators like Runway Gen 2 and Pika 1.0. And this is very close behind Kling, which has a total score of 81.85 and Gen 3 Alpha, which has a score of 82.32. Interestingly, in terms of quality, it actually scored the highest out of all the models out there. So anyways, that sums up this tool, and they've already released the code and the model for you to use. So if you click to their GitHub page, by the way, I'll link to all of this in the description below. You can see that down here, they give you instructions on how to install the Hugging Face model, and then basically how to run everything. Now, here's the catch. If you're wondering what are the specs needed to run this, the owner of the repo says that even the lower resolution version, the 380p requires around 26 gigabytes of memory. So even like a 4090 with 24 gigabytes VRAM would not be able to run this. And then the 768p version requires around 40 gigabytes of memory. So unfortunately, like right now, I mean, I don't have that powerful of a GPU, so I've actually tried to install it right away. It did not work. So here's another thread where someone with a 4090, 24 gigabytes, said that the 768 resolution model got an out of memory error, and even the 384 model got an out of memory error. However, the good news is they are working actively to optimize for, you know, lower memory usage. So anyways, I will keep hacking at this. I will try to get it to run locally or on Google Colab. And afterwards, I'll do a full tutorial on how you can set this up too. But I mean, this was just released a few hours ago, and I just wanted to make this video first to show you how exciting this announcement is. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. And for those of you with a good enough GPU and you actually managed to run this, what generations were you able to come up with and were you impressed by the results so far? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I will be on the lookout for the top AI news and tools to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, there's just so much happening in the world of AI every week, I can't possibly cover everything on my YouTube channel. So to really stay up to date, with all that's going on in AI, be sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter. The link to that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.